the government assigned you assigned you the uh, band okay so there are two things so they assign you the band and they assign you the bandwidth okay bandwidth but when say they assign the band they assign the arfcn actually arfcn okay from arfcn number this to arfcn number this they assign okay then we calculate from which frequency to which frequency we are being assigned so if if example they say i am assigning you the band band number 3 so this is first of all let's suppose this is the lt band lt fdd band so fdd 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 band has few things so one is for uplink one is for downlink because we have the duplex frequency then there will be spacing between uplink and downlink and that is your duplex spacing for every frequency for example 1920 to 2110 you will have the difference of 190 okay so 190 megahertz difference similarly from 1980 to 2170 you have you will have the 190 differences so these are the duplex frequency differences and they are fixed okay they are fixed for this whole band for example 1 2 3 any anything then for different different band has different different bandwidth for example it has 60 60 means it is not see it is all depending on the government either they are assigning the 60 megahertz to the single operator or they can assign 10 10 megahertz to the six operator so it is all based on the availability and their spectrum allocations and then how how they are selling this spectrum so different countries different government has the 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 rights to selling the different way okay i am telling the example of this if it has 75 megahertz and four operator or five operator or maybe like somebody is assigning 20 megahertz some somebody is assigning 15 somebody assigning 10 somebody assigning 10 something like that you can accommodate in 75 or maybe some 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 will be unused okay and sometimes the government sell the unused spectrum as well okay so in particular band some some unused spectrum is available so you can take it so it's not like that only single operator you can accommodate many operators depending on your system the only thing is this is fdd you have downlink uplink and in tdd you will not have such things you have only one allocation and you will not have any tdd any 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 downlink and uplink the only thing is and of, of course if there is no uplink and downlink then you will not have that spacing also duplex spacing you will not have so only two two thing you will have band number three things band number frequency and then what is the sorry what is the uh, bandwidth so there are three things band number allocation and bandwidth okay one thing i want to discuss here a very short uh, uh, kind of uh, theory you if you notice one thing the uplink frequency that is 1920 to 1980 and downlink frequency 2110 to 2170 and every band if you notice uplink frequency uplink frequency is lower than downlink okay uplink frequency is lower than downlink uplink frequency is lower than downlink okay uplink is lower than downlink any particular reason why so okay let's understand some basic fundamentals generally there is a property of the property of the frequency higher the frequency frequency is higher and their losses are higher okay higher the frequency higher the losses so i am taking one example in the city you have the fm okay fm has 100 megahertz or something it serve around whole city whole city okay then you have the radio communication that is rf signal that is like 900 megahertz or 1800 megahertz then you will have a different 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 tower you make okay to serve for some special area some small area or something like that you have the you have the microwave signal okay that is in around like 4000 4000 uh, megahertz or something you have more less distance then you have remote control i mean the infrared okay infrared if you see the infrared that is used in your remote control okay 
remote control it does not penetrate even the wall if your tv is here and your remote is here okay if tv is here if you want to switch on the tv it will not penetrate even the wall but in the radio somebody is in the basement and they can tune their radio very easily so it means can you imagine how much is the penetration it is penetrating whole building then by penetration of whole building it is going to the basement as well similarly rf has also some penetration but infrared does not have any penetration okay in the room only in the room only by reflection reflections you can switch on turn on or you can change your channel uh, of of your tv okay so one thing we get realized here higher and higher the frequency higher and higher the losses okay so now when we know the losses are higher it means we required more power to accommodate so e node b is here e node b is here uv is here okay and we have suppose 2 km okay so e node b also communicate to uv and uv also communicate to the e node b okay and they both are up to the 2 km distance 2 km distance so what i'm trying to think if the losses of frequency is higher it means we need more power to send that signal to the same distance and we know e node b has e, e node b has enough power because e node b has the bts okay it has power i mean power battery i mean lot of power but uv is the less power uv does not carry much power like 2 watt 3 watt power uv contains okay so when there is a power i mean less power availability in uv so why don't we use the frequency which requires less losses so that's why we take the small advantage of in that case the uplink is lower than downlink because if we take the if we take the higher frequency here it will face more losses so the frequency we select which experiences less losses with respect to the e node b we take that frequency to uv side so that's why the uplink frequency is lower than downlink so as a theory wherever you have the power crunch try to use less less frequency than uh, i mean um, uh, less uh, less frequency than downlink uh, not downlink i mean less frequency that side so in case of uh, in case of mobile communication uv is crunch with the uh, power that's why the uplink frequency is less than downlink frequency come to the satellite communication satellite communication satellite communication base station is in the earth okay earth and your satellite is in the so this is downlink and this is uplink okay here uplink is higher than downlink because satellite has the crunch of uh, power okay so so the, so the theory is wherever you have the crunch of the power put lower frequency in that side okay so that the losses it would be relatively less so in satellite communication always downlink frequency is higher than uplink sorry uplink frequency is higher than downlink okay while in telecommunication or you can say mobile communication uplink frequency is less than downlink communication downlink frequency now so this is the frequency you can say and just uh, i mean the uplink is lower than downlink and then you have the tdd then you calculate something i mean because when you design in the cell you put your arfcn what will be your arfcn number so how you calculate there is a formula f downlink there is a formula so this is 3 gpp specific uh, uh, chart you can say so uh, let me tell you so fdl low then ndl min minus fdl offset then you calculate your central frequency okay governments give you this central frequency government give you this central frequency and central frequency he said i am giving you this frequency for 10 megahertz so we have central frequency we have 10 megahertz then we will calculate the arfcn okay then we calculate the arfcn okay so how we calculate okay so this is your ndl sorry ndl is your arfcn so how you see every gradients are already there okay so if you if you think like ndl is downlink arfcn nul is uplink arfcn ndl offset is used to calculate the downlink arf so these are just the ingredients okay so fdl we already know 
okay that is 2110 or something like that then you have your fuel and then you have the offset as well so for every band and corresponding you have the offset so you put the value i mean these if these ingredients you put the value here i mean you have the low you have the low you have the low also okay for example if i talking about this so you will have the low okay this is the low this is the higher one something like that actually so you have the low you have the offset okay then you calculate ranges i mean low and high low and high accordingly you calculate the ranges okay or you can you can calculate the exact uh, exact arfcl okay so fdl and then this is your uh, central frequency so you can you have the central frequency you have this you have this so you can calculate this getting my point central frequency is given by the government you have this one you have low because you you know the band one i mean band also you know uh, the lower lower and higher band then you calculate this one so either way you can calculate if you know this you can calculate this if you know this you can calculate this okay so this is very i mean very simple so that's why not going much in detail so